Hey everybody, it's Faye Zolly for All Things Mobile, and today I'll be taking a quick look at the Android player in Playbook OS 2.0. So, Playbook OS 2.0 brings us support for Android apps, and this is kind of a big deal because people were yammering about there is no apps for the Playbook, we need more apps, 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 and finally, the Android player is now public in this release. So, this is Playbook OS 2.0, and if you're really specific, it's Playbook OS 2.0.0.7971. So here, now you guys can't really tell which apps are Android and which apps are you know native Playbook apps. They're all kind of just intermeshed. So this folder here, Japanese Japanese learning apps. These are all Android apps. If I open one up, it opens up just like a normal application. So this is just a Japanese dictionary app. So, and it it works. So I could type in, um, let's see, car maybe C A R car, enter, and it searches the dictionary, and it'll list my results. So, and this is very smooth actually. And as well as if I go into the multitasking view, you could see the name of the application, as well as the fact that. It, it does not have like a player per se. It runs in the player, but you don't see an Android player appear anywhere. So that's just one Android app. Uh, this is just a um, dictionary app. So this just loads up and it searches. You guys can see that there's sentence examples. So pretty nice application. I use it. So there's another one I want to show you guys. Um, it's called this one. It's called, uh, not this one. It's called Japanese Phrasebook. Learn Japanese Facebook and it loads right up. Um, again, very smooth. You can switch through the search. Close out of that. Um, back. You could go to the settings and set things up. Um, you can go to more and whatnot, right? So in this application, it shows you that apps from Android can actually take advantage of the hardware on the Playbook. So this case let's let's do um, countries let's do let's find Canada here's Canada and you can see that in this application it shows me the the uh, the country name and then the name in this is katakana because Canada is a foreign word to Japan so you can press this button here Oops. And you guys can hear that it says, um, America. Yeah, and it just kind of. So, yeah, it just says whatever you tap, and that's how this application works. So, this is also another Android application. This this third one I'm going to show you guys called Obi Kanyo. This is actually an app world, and I think it has one of the best interfaces. Um, it's a very nice, it's a tablet optimized experience. Definitely nice. It's smooth. It's slick. Hiragana. You could also do vocabulary. Um, there's grammar. There's oops. There's a lot of things you could do in this application, and you could learn a lot from this app. So to access options on the Android, on Android applications, because well, Android phones and tablet have buttons, and the Playbook does not have any buttons. So what do we do? Simple. From the top, bezel, swipe down, and you'll see the um, the menus if if the app has a menu. So in this application, you guys can see that if I swipe down, I've got the menus and configuration. I could go into the settings and whatnot, and then there's the back button here. Or what you can do is just simply. swipe from the bezel in a diagonal motion like that and that works either left or right as well as if you actually swipe across the entire bezel so that's how you do that and I think it's nice because if you go into app world you will you will start to see more and more Android applications pouring into app world which increases the selection and hopefully will increase the quality of apps as well. So uh, if I search 
Word uh, Press. WordPress is actually an Android application. Um, WordPress for BlackBerry Playbook. Yeah, this is actually an Android application. And it, it runs quite well. And you guys can see that in Apple, there's no distinction. So you're browsing. It's a one-stop shop for your Android applications as well as for your native application that you guys are used to seeing since OS 1, since the device launched. So I'm Faisal Ali, and that was just a quick look at the Android player and BlackBerry Playbook OS 2.0.